Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of Crazy Town Gaming. My name is Jonas, I'm your host, and I'm here with TNT Dynamite, the explosive one. Jonas, I'm the man on the stick. Stick boy! And we're playing Overwatch. Oh my god, it's your last, it's your last placement match, and we're going to get yeah, to dude. see how good you did. I've been throwing games, dude. Have you? Yeah, We basically. won them, though. <laughs> All but one. How are you throwing it when you lose? I don't know. Win? I feel like I'm throwing by talking over it, like not putting my full concentration not into the game. Not talking to the team. You're not doing call -outs. Oh, ex exactly. I don't have a helmet on. A helmet? I mean, a do you normally wear a helmet when I mean, you play Overwatch? An earphones. What do you call them, Jonas? <laughs> headphones. 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 Headset. Oh, man. This is going to be a great episode. I don't have a helmet on. <laughs> this is going to be a great episode, dude, if I can't even differentiate a helmet from a <laughs> headphone. <laughs> <laughs> I could just see you in your in, in your in your room wearing a helmet, <laughs> like a motorcycle helmet on. Keeps my ear pods in. Yeah, dude. <laughs> Keeps my yeah, right. Just in case there's any trauma that comes. <laughs> so they do have a shield. That sucks. I don't like that. They have two shields. Oh head. god, they have a lot. Oh god, you guys are pushing hard. Whoa, 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 Rain boy. Got. Wow, they they're trash. They let you push right through them. Oh yeah. Now, they, we're in, now I'm in their back line, eating their cookies. Oh dude, there's so many cookies for you to eat. I'm just devouring their freaking cookies. You're like a parent of a Girl Scout. Your cooks are mine. Yeah, exactly. Look at this Moira on a freaking death mission, dude. She's just like, no, dude, I'm gonna go out and go get him. I mean, I'm proud of her. <laughs> oh, somebody on our team left. Oh no, somebody on their team left, but oh. it's, it's early enough where it doesn't count for uh, a match, I don't think. Oh, boom. It said it canceled, yeah. Yeah, it canceled the match, so I think I still have one more placement. To yeah, do. you do. That's cool, yeah. Well, it, it, it's been pretty quick, so we'll get right back in. Yeah. What were we talking about, Jonas? Uh, <laughs> you got one job. Being a Girl Scout? Being a Girl Scout. And like your parent eating all the cookies. Oh, you said eat all the cookies, and I said like you're a parent of a Girl Scout. And then you made a comment like that you weren't really paying attention because you were playing the game. Didn't and we? Then, didn't we already talk about Girl Scouts and Boy Scouts and stuff though? I mean, we've we have twenty, we have like two thousand instances of us talking for at least twenty minutes a piece. <laughs> I think we have mentioned everything in the world probably. No, time. no, no. There's billions of topics we haven't talked about, like platypus toenails. We talked about platypus milk, though. We have talked about that. We've never talked about uh, giraffe knuckles. Yeah, we've never talked about toenails in general. <laughs> so let's, let's have talk, a whole episode about how toenails. Often, how often do you cut your toenails? When I notice they're too long. You ever painted your nails? I've painted nails before. Okay. Back in fair, the day. Fair. Hot pink? No. Usually black. Yeah, 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 yeah. I've done it. 100%. Yeah. I mean, I think we all did. I definitely remember walking the halls of Ashtabula High in a nine-inch nail shirt and a choker. Like, <laughs> I think we all were that there. Was, that was the day for me. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that is the day where people were like, I don't think this kid is right. Oh, yeah. People thought that about me, too, and that was fine. Well, yeah, but you weren't right. <laughs> Fair. <laughs> I wasn't right either. Very, honest. very true. I mean, look at us. Yeah. <laughs> look at us now. <laughs> we're, all, we're all single, no children, jobs. That pay the bills and give us money to do things. Started from the bottom, vehicles. now we're here. Yeah, you know, the kids that, we they looked at us in school and went, oh. Now they look at us and they go, oh. Oh my gosh, man. I'm sorry, I just got a, like, a, a COVID reality check there for a second. I'm sorry, I brought it up, okay. I know. I got sad, though, man. <laughs> Wow, wow, what <laughs> I didn't mean like, to bring it up, but I did. Yeah, I bring said. it up. Talk. Um, no, we're not it? talking about. No, that. I mean, like, what the hell came over you so quickly <laughs> that you were like? I was just like, yeah, man, we we we've been successful. And then I started thinking about all the people in our tiny little town that weren't able to do that. Oh, and what then I was like, COVID? that. And then I was like, yeah, people are going through that right now. You're just gonna let this Anna just just get up in her buttholes, huh? Kill her. <laughs> Kill her. I'm trying to heal you, you son of a... Oh, great. Good job. Now I don't have a... I'm sorry. I can't. I can't heal you. I know, guy. Ah, oh, you keep moving. Yeah, it would help I'm, I'm, if he was running around in a circle. Oh, wait. 
Yeah, dude. I'm bad at the game, too. Yeah, I've heard that. Good. I've heard that. So, you're thinking about people in our hometown going through COVID crisis? <laughs> 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 like, I don't get where COVID came from. <laughs> because I was thinking about the fact that, like, people are, like, losing their jobs. And, like, we, we're, we're just fortunate that I have a job that... It's been relatively unaffected. And yeah, me too. You, so far, anyway. Yeah, so far. Yeah. Yeah, I mean. Well, my mine is. You are probably good, regardless. Yeah. Me, I think I'm probably good. I think I'm in an industry that isn't probably going to be too affected by this, but. And it was just like a, a, I saw a lot of reports about the unemployment rates. And oh stuff. yeah. Well, and I work for a company that's a giant company. You know what I mean? That's the other thing. Yeah. So it sucks, so. man. Bartenders out there, man. Oof. My head, <laughs> but that—that's that's that's where it came from. Because yeah. uh, thinking about Ashtabula always makes me sad. Essentially, is what it Dude, comes down to. Yeah, I went there last fall and drove around. It made me sad. What does that mean you drove around? I drove around to look at the town, and it made me sad. I could see that. Oh my god, I was just like, oh, oh, oh. I said, oh, like it, you would have thought I was getting smashed. Yeah, and this is where people. This is where they chill at now. Yeah, dude. This is where they hang out. In the streets. Or if you're in Europe, uh, your apartment. <laughs> we discussed that yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> is that a callback? It's a callback. I don't know if this uh, is coming out before or after that. <laughs> probably after. Nobody yeah. listens to the podcast anyway, so it's fine. <laughs> It's funny because when you're on the podcast, it's like you talk to only the people who listen to the podcast. And when you're on the YouTube, you're only talking to the people who listen to YouTube. Right, exactly. No one watches both. <laughs> There's probably somebody out there that watches both. Man, I hope there is. I, I feel pretty, pretty... I'm pretty heavy that there's at least one person that watches both. There's probably someone who is subscribed to our channel yeah. and then listens to our podcast on the channel, too. I would guess. I would guess, too. You can be that person. Yeah, well, any of you could be both. You could be that person. That yeah. Supports us with your whole Leave heart. Leave a comment on our podcast episodes that you watch both. Yeah. And it'd be great. We would love to know who you are. We'll shout you out. We'll be like, man, I hope Tom's watching. Hope, uh... <laughs> Chex Mix 22's on the channel today. Chex Mix 22? <laughs> that's their is that, what, is that somebody? <laughs> that's a real person out of the... Uh... I'm sure someone's username is Chex Mix 22. Guaranteed. Oh, I thought this was a real person. No, I have no idea. I thought you were shouting out no, some no, I wish I, Dude, I wish I knew guys that I could shout out with too. You know? <laughs> 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 Are we going to start shaming him? You never call anymore. <laughs> yeah. chat. I used to talk to you all the time, and now it feels like we're so distant. Dang it, Chet. You never talk. We never speak. You never ask me how my day was. <laughs> I just want to feel pretty, Chet. Karen, my feelings matter, too. Oh, my gosh. No, don't get me started on women. <laughs> that was a guy speaking to his wife. <laughs> yeah, well. Oh, I got a woman you. involved. I know. Sometimes you, like, you... you, you you head out on a on a <laughs> pier. Oh my god! Really, it's not. You it, walk the break wall, dude. Really, my my ideals on men and gender roles and women are not like in a negative space, and I don't have animosity towards women. I I think that they are beautiful and unique creatures, and they deserve to be up. To like I treat my mom like a saint. But some of the, uh, I don't know, some of the just like the regular issues with relationships just right. kind of irk me. And I feel like. Yeah, I think that's a, more of a social thing than a women or men thing. I just don't really like to be manipulated. I, I would like a, a, a meaningful relationship where it's like, you know, the people like get along and like each other. What the yeah. frick are you doing? Yeah, dude, Mercy? I think that's what jades me too. It's like, I just like, why can't I meet someone who's just honest and upfront? And doesn't get mad over dumb ish. <laughs> yeah, but that's impossible. Right. Oh yeah, for sure. I mean, they're out there. It's just there's seven and a half billion people, so the odds of you finding the one <laughs> are, are what's one divided by seven and a half billion? <laughs> Small. Basically. Right. Exactly. Oh man, and to the, the think that 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 one out of that seven and a half billion lives in your town. <laughs> right, or, yeah, you're able to run across them. Well, okay, let's rephrase that. So, like, half of the population, let's say half the populations, if you're a straight man or woman, half the population is out because you aren't interested in the other sex. So that would say, like, say, three and a half. 
billion. <laughs> and then you got to think like a third of that is either elderly or underage. So you say maybe like two billion people are potential mates for you out there. Yeah. And so That's, one in two billion. I don't like those odds. Right. <laughs> is is are just eligible for you to be with. Not to mention most like a lot of them are already taken or unavailable. You know, yeah. so um yeah, and then yeah, the fact that like how do you know that the one person that you would get along with the most doesn't live in Uganda <laughs> and you have no way of ever running into them Dude, in the world. I would love to have a Ugandan wife. <laughs> would you? I, I would. I wouldn't mind. As long that. as they're cool and awesome and fun, I would like to too. I don't care. I just want to meet someone who's awesome. That's my favorite. Someone who's Honest and doesn't manipulate and doesn't get mad. Those are like some very, very, very <laughs> hard things to come across. They're not. They're not. Uh, they're not common. That's for sure. Yeah, I mean, you can't say never get mad because people get mad. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's, it's like, human. And I, I don't expect like you know, from a relationship for everything to just be peaches and cream. What all would the time. be a good way to like? What word should we use to like not get mad? Like you have a good. Cause it's like it's not that you, like I don't expect my partner to never get mad. Reasonable expectations, or like they, <laughs> they don't villainize you and make and think you're doing it to hurt them. That's what I'm seeing. Like, is that look okay, Jonas? To think that we all don't have emotional issues and right. that we all don't suffer from a little bit of occasional toxicity, right? Is that that's just ignorant? Right. I, oh, I understand that I'm broken too, but. I mean, like, willingness to hear the person out, willingness to uh, just better yourself is not is not a common thing. So if I if somebody tells me that I'm being problematic or toxic in some way, I'm willing to hear them out. I'm willing to speak about it, and I'm willing to uh, tr at least attempt to become a better person. Right, and try to see where they're coming from. That don't work so much for everybody. No. The male, female. But, you know, like, I'm not looking for a male, so right. let's talk about uh, yeah, the right. fact. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, it's, I think it's just reasonable expectations because, like, it's all about your attitude. Because, like, if, if yeah. they have a mindset of, like, this person is here for me, if you do something in that they're not trying to hurt me on purpose, if you do something they don't like, well, I, they're less likely to freak out about it or come to you and be like, hey, what's I, up? I think historically women have been uh, less receptive to constructive criticism. Like, lots of people are not good to, with, when it comes to constructive criticism. Oh, but yeah. women are probably a little bit more touchy about it. Okay. In my, in my opinion. Is that based on experience or based on... I feel like it's based on... <laughs> yes, experience. Because that's like all I have to do. everybody is with. awful at taking criticism. Like, whether it's a man, woman... I, I mean, I feel that way, too. But... I mean, yeah. I, mean, I guess in relationships, I've only dated women, so that can only speak on just women Just imagine if you had to walk up to a woman and tell her that, like, her... Like, she had some body odor. Like, you can walk up and tell a dude that he, he's funky. And he'd be like, "All right, good looking out. I'll go get the deodorant out the bag." Right? Let me let me go. <laughs> you got some deodorant I can borrow or something? Like, I just need something. Yeah. Yeah, but I I don't know, I don't know. And I feel like a woman could come up to a guy and just say, "Hey, you know, got a little body odor." It would be embarrassing, but like on the much, same note, but like much respect. But the same note, the way that the guy would have to take it is just like, all right, you, you know, you're right. You're looking out for me. You're not being ignorant to me. Yeah, or, you know, even the embarrassment of like, okay, somebody noticed it. I should probably change that. But if I were to walk up to a woman and just be like, hey, I'm just letting you know you got a little body odor. Who the f it, it wouldn't, I don't feel like it would turn out good. So. I mean, I feel like it would turn out bad in a lot of situations, but I guess, I guess if that's the example you want to go with, we'll, we'll roll with that. All right, fine. Okay, let's see where I place, Jonas. Yeah. This is the this was the big reveal. Da, all right? da, da, da. I don't know. You there's, guys have been watching all week, dude. There's social norms I hate. We're gonna get into them eventually. Yeah. Oh my God, will we? In, that's some in, that's some podcast yeah, talk, dude. Yeah. You swear. Let's just get into our misogyny bag. I, I don't have a misogyny bag. You have a misogyny bag. All right, Jones. Four <laughs> wins, one loss. Twenty-one eighty. Big gold boy. Let's get it. Ba -ba -da -da. <laughs> all right, that's it. You did it. That was a big reveal. That was. Yeah. All right, that's all the time we have for today's episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe if you've already done that. Put your fist on Doomfist's fist. <laughs>
<laughs> for Jonas. And T and T. We'll catch you on the next one. We are out. Yep.